Good morning. This is Arun. So we are here for the discussion on OTB cases 2014-15 on mathematics, and the topic is important. Uh, for our discussion panel includes Charu, Hi. Ananto, Hi. Sanjay, Hi. and Ashim. So there are a lot of networking sites which enables students as well as teachers to achieve their educational goals. So students are achieving their educational goal and teachers are also getting some information to pass their students. There are sites like Learnout, Two Way, Trouble Bubble and they're superb. But there are certain challenges also. So I want my discussion panel to discuss on those challenges. Yeah, I do agree. I do agree with all these things. And uh, when the knowledge, information, exposure comes, what exactly we are supposed to understand, the students and teachers in this country uh, confuse what exactly knowledge, information, and exposure. These three things combined together is learning. And what we are giving, the, we are giving no learning. This is only simply we are giving them traditional way of knowledge with what exactly CBSE aim is. Shifting from traditional way to the modern way of teaching. That is the CBC. That's why they have introduced three years back CCE pattern. That's why we are discussing today OTBA cases. Now I will. So basically, what we are talking when we talk of uh, access to access uh, the applications, we are saying first, the first requirement is do our children have access to laptops and internet? And I think that is the problem. The internet penetration is very, very low in India. Very, very low. So it's one thing on paper to say that we will introduce uh, tabs uh, across the school and then we'll find out that parents or the system is not able to, you know, uh, sponsor those tabs for the students. Then, therefore, an implementation of apps will fall by the uh, by the wayside. Uh, I think a little challenging project we have. And moreover, the main challenge is that students are overusing the internet facilities who have them. And uh, parents have to take care that they are using internet, they are using educational websites or not, or are they logged on on Facebook or Twitter accounts and using them. So that's the main challenge. We need to educate our students that uh, they should use internet in a better way so that they will help, get helped. Uh, when we talk about the challenges, there is a lot of difference between online learning and traditional classes. In traditional classes, uh, the teacher and uh, student contact is very essential. And while online learning, it is missing. So this is the biggest disadvantage. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the, the challenges we are facing is there is no connection between the teachers and the students. So and inter internet is, means they are connected, more connected. So uh, means they find it more viable source. So this may be the challenges. Now we need to focus our... Not only this, uh, there are big challenges for teachers also, students also in the terms of first of all, the students should see why they should go to the schools and colleges. Because when I, whenever I am doing survey and they are telling that and when I am asking them okay, why you are going to the school, sir, parents are sending me, that's why we are going to the school. So empowered to learn actually backed and supported by teachers as well as students also. The first we are supposed to empower the teachers. Because if teachers have knowledge, information and exposure, the automatic it will come to the students also at the same time. And they should know, means teachers should know first of all, why the students should come to the schools and colleges. There are only two things, why they should come, there are two things. Your classes should be interesting and useful. Only then students will come to your classes because they should feel if it is useful, which will be helpful in the long run. Only then empowerment comes and then learning comes at the same time. Now, yes. So now uh, we talked a lot of uh, challenges and other thing. Now we need to come on advantages. So what are the advantages? What do you think that these are the advantages of uh, networking sites? Yeah, if I say like, if you're talking about opportunities in this field, uh, you know the. Opportunities are like today the cost of tabs is going down tremendously. A tab that used to cost 10,000 four years back, you can buy that for 2300 rupees yes. or 2500 rupees. And so, the first thing this should be the tab should be made as part of the courseware. And the school can also probably subsidize, the government can also subsidize, and parents can also, you know, pitch in some amount of money. And that is, I think, the first step. Now, it is possible for us to start the first step in the in the uh, to, in covering the digital divide. And this networking site will help only when when we are open for learning and willingness to learn. First of all, we should understand this part, because our anybody learning stops then and there when we think we know everything even though we are going to the Facebook and we are trying our level best to give only our input we are not receiving any other input 
then learning stops. There is one more advantage of e-learning. Uh, people who have the uh, demanding work schedule mm -hmm. and uh, some of them have family responsibilities, they are able to connect with the internet at home and uh, they don't commute any other distant places. So it's very time consuming and also it uh, reduces the um, amount of money. Yeah, and time. lots of free educational sites are available like Spark Notes, Math is Fun, Regents Exam Prep. They all provide uh, various materials which can help students build their knowledge and enhance it across their fields and thus helping them to make a global citizen. Yeah, correct. That's true. And the biggest advantage on networking side is that billions of users are there on the net. Billions of users. Yes, we, can, if, get, yeah, we can get a lot of data. A lot of data. A lot, information. A lot of data, information. So, which are... In any forms and types, which will be helpful for the students, teachers as well. Entire, for the entire world, you can say simply. But we first should be ready for the learning. Yes. Willingness to learn should be there. Only then we will be able to learn. And then at the same time, empower to learn will come. Yes, so we are, uh, of, of course, willing to learn. And that's why uh, if uh, coins are there, there is, uh, there is pros and cons also. So we have to see both the sides. But so we the, have to maintain that balance between yeah. the pros and the cons. Yes. Right? So that we can help the nation develop and our citizens develop, our students develop, thus creating an environment for them. And at the same time, again, I, as I told earlier also, whenever they are going to any networking site, they should feel, first of all, I am here for searching something interesting and useful information, mm -hmm. not for time pass. Right. That is the most important part. And some of the methods of e-learning are also have international appeal. Yeah. And they yes. are more fun-filled. Correct. Yes. And while the traditional classes may be sometimes boring, correct. But the e-learning is more fun filled. Correct. And students are supposed to go to the all education and training site, and they are supposed to connect with the teachers all over the world, students all over the world, so that if they are going through all these things from different caste, creed, and religion people, so naturally their learning will be very fast. So basically, recently we had this initiative by the Prime Minister of India, whereby. Each and every citizen has got access to a bank account. Similarly, for schools, we can make an initiative starting right. with CBSE schools, I where parents it. are slightly from better of, of economic backgrounds. So for them, uh, for us, to, uh, for the schools to start and maybe EMI program, through which you maybe you make a down payment five rupees, uh, five hundred rupees, and then pay hundred rupees monthly. Yes. And then you have access to a good tab, which you can work for next three four years. And I think that's the first step we should implement. Correct. That's yes, I agree with my friend. And he has suggested a very nice thing and this should be implemented by most of the schools. And in this way, we can empower our students. So I want to conclude on a good note that if we are taking this sites uh, as a positive note, a student will be getting a lot of benefit and they can get a lot of uh, information and they can share with the peers also. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Thank very, you much, very much. much, all the panel uh, friends, and we had a good discussion, and uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.